the most common one I hear about is, will I look like a woman? The answer to that is no. Uh, basically, um, hormone therapy does not substantively change the appearance of most men to the extent that neighbors and family would notice. Um, uh, the exception being if a man is on hormone therapy for a long time, he may put on a little bit of weight. But then, of course, uh, sadly, as I know myself, um, as you get older, you can put on weight anyway. So, so there's nothing about how you'd look that would say to people, oh, he's, you know, going through sex change or, you know, he's getting hormone therapy or something like that. Related to that, the second concern men have is that their voice will go up, and that doesn't happen either. Um, so that's uh, that's a, a concern that I will address as a matter of course, because people always wonder that, and, unless they're fairly well informed to begin with. Um, the third concern men have, which is realistic actually, is that hormone therapy will affect their ability to be sexually active. Now that is true. Um, so sexual functioning in men involves a number of things. So it involves interest in sex in the first place. We use the word libido. Uh, there is, of course, the ability to get erections, erectile function. And then, of course, there is uh, orgasmic function, ejaculation. Now, hormone therapy in most men will affect all of those things to some degree. It is somewhat surprising, though. It can vary. Okay, so there are men who will actually have surprisingly good libido and yet may find that their erectile function isn't so good. Um, in which case, those men, we can often sustain their sexual activities, uh, giving them uh, prescriptions for Viagra and other things. And it's surprising. It can work fairly well in some men. What I tell people is, well, there are other ways of being intimate, and that's always important. Remember, men tend to focus on the erections, and wives often say, well, you know what, that, that's all right with me. We can be, you know, together in other ways, and men need to know that, right? And I can say that until I'm blue in the face, but really it's a conversation couples need to have. Um, but, I mean, it is surprising to some men to find some men even can get erections while they're getting hormone therapy. So I tell people, first of all, the effect on sexual function is not 100% universal. Um, and, you know, we'll certainly help them with it as best we can. And the other thing that I tell them is that, you know, the, the hope and expectation is that once the androgen withdrawal therapy is discontinued, at least uh, the medical form, which is what we most often use, that it, it will recover in future. That's certainly what we work toward, absolutely for sure. Um, so those would be the three biggest concerns men bring. Now, the other ones depend on to what extent men have read about it to begin with. Um, one concern that men who haven't done much reading about it is they'll confuse it with chemotherapy because it's medical therapy. That's most often the form of androgen withdrawal therapy that we're giving. And medical androgen withdrawal therapy is given by injection. So in many men's minds, cancer treatment, injection, therefore chemotherapy. So then they bring up all kinds of things that are, occur in some chemotherapy programs, things like hair loss and um, and you know blood count problems and nausea. So I always have to stress to people that hormone therapy for prostate cancer is not chemotherapy, so we're not thinking about those things. Um, and I guess related to that, some people have this idea that life will kind of end while they're getting the hormone therapy, and it kind of begins with a sexual function for some of them. But others will think, well, what if I'll have to stop working, and you know, I'll feel terrible. And the reality is, most most times, people feel reasonably well. I mean, I do get some grumbles about hot flushing and a little bit of increase of weight in most men. That's true. But for the most part, life continues. Um, and the other thing that men need to know about that is, if they really don't like it, um, we can we can you know, come at it differently, switch drugs. We can go give it intermittently, give it for a shorter period of time than we'd originally planned. And men ultimately have control over it. I'm not going to threaten them with bodily harm if so that they continue. Um, I mean, they're obviously w uh, perfectly welcome to stop it. I mean, we're we can certainly discuss that if that uh, concern comes up.